If you're listening right now, I'm assuming that you saw the title of the episode. And yes, you read that right. I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that you have a follow-up question, which is, what? Move over, marsupials. You are not the only mammals with skin pockets. Like salty old pirates, sea otters are only found at sea, rarely go on land, and have their very own treasure chest in their armpits. Of course, there's another inevitable question. Why? I'm Devin Boker. You're listening to The Wildlife. Sea otters have an adorable tendency to float on their backs. That floating is mostly functional, often so that they can use their bellies as a sort of tray table for a seafood feast. Kind of like those restaurants where they dump a bucket of shellfish, corn, and potatoes onto a big white plastic sheet and everyone's got a bib. Urchins, crabs, mussels, clams, starfish, fish, fish, various crustaceans, you name it. Now you may have noticed that virtually all of those things require two things in order to be eaten. Number one, retrieval from some subsurface surface, like a rock or a pier post. And two, they require some sort of cracking of the open to get to the juicy, delicious innards. Now, I don't know about you, but I think it sounds pretty exhausting to have to swim down over and over and over again just to get basically bite-sized snacks. Not to mention having to swim back down for a rock or something to crack it all open with. If only an otter had, I don't know, pockets. Conveniently for the otter, they do. Sea otters use these flaps of fur under their fluffy arms for stowing away food, rocks, and various other items of intrigue and interest. Like somewhat shiny rocks. That is all for today. Thank you for listening. And as a reminder, the wildlife is made possible because of listeners like you at patreon.com slash the wildlife. Special thanks to Paul over at the Avast podcast, one of my new favorites, Sarah and Mitchell Schremmel, Karen Bingston, Kim Drolet, Karen Bergman, Vikram Baliga, Megan McNeil, Matt Capel, and Christina Boker. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.